Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the different constitutions of the individuals. No knowledge is perfect, unless it includes an understanding of the origin. And as all man's diseases originate in his constitution, it is necessary that his constitution should be known, if we wish to know his diseases. Constitution is defined as the structure, composition, physical makeup, or nature of a person, comprising inherited qualities and modified by the environment. In other words, constitution is a person's physical and mental makeup, which is revealed through his physical build, his characteristic desires, aversions and reactions, as well as emotional and intellectual attributes. In homeopathy, the choice of remedy is based on the totality of an individual's symptoms and circumstances, including personality, behaviors, fears, responses to the physical environment, food preferences and so on. Development of constitution depends on the following factors. Endogenous factors. We all receive few characters from our parents, which are known as genetic characters, this is why we resemble like our father or mother. Environmental factors. As we grow, we get exposed to different environmental conditions. Exogenous characteristics. We get influenced by them, and mold our behavior and understanding pattern, directly or indirectly. Now, let's know about the history of constitution. According to Ayurveda, the constitution is known as dosha. Three types are, vat, pith, and kaf. Hippocrates classified the constitution into two types, short and thick, and long and thin. Aristotle classified the human beings on the basis of size, build, nature. Galen described the human constitution as sanguine, bilious, phlegmatic, and nervous. Dr. Samuel Hahnemann, the founder of homeopathy, classified human constitutions into three groups, suric, psychotic, and syphilitic. Ernst Kretschmer classified the constitution into three groups, asthenic, athletic, and picnic. Bazan classified constitution into three types as scrofulous, gouty and syphilitic. Vanier's and Zissis classified constitution as carbonic, phosphoric, and floweric. And Dr. Edward von Gravigel classified the constitutions into three groups, hydrogenoid, oxygenoid, and carbonitrogenoid. We will discuss about the classification given by von Gravigel. According to Gravigel, every organism is made up of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen. Deficiency or excess of any of these elements leads to development of a different constitution. Dr. Edward von Gravigel, who was a German homeopath, classified the constitutions into three groups, hydrogenoid, oxygenoid, and carbonitrogenoid constitutions. Hydrogenoid constitutions are characterized by excess of water in the body. They are aggravated by moisture and humidity. Prone to dropsy and anasarca. Suffers from tissue growth of benign type. They are slow, fatigued, without life, apathetic, heavy, and indolent. Asthmatics, rheumatics, and obese people. Intermittent fevers and periodicity come within its sphere. Oxygenoid constitution are characterized by Accumulation of excess of oxygen, with resultant destruction of tissues. Body is thin, and thus falls ill on change of season. They have prominent glands, weak bones, and anemia. They are destructive, disorders involving the genitalia, and diseases of central nervous system. Body is prone to ulcerations and self-destruction. Numerous white spots on the nails. Contains largely anti-syphilitic remedies. Calcarea phos, ferrum phos, natrum phos, phosphorus, phosphoric acid, iodum, silesia, calcarea, natrum myrrh, helleborus, tuberculinum, syphilinum, myrxol are the main drugs. Carbo, nitrogenoid constitutions are characterized by Excess of carbon and nitrogen Suffers from functional disorders of body and mind Diminution of the absorption of oxygen by the tissues Resembles suric constitution Sora, eczema, arthritism, 
marked by erratic working of the heart, lungs, kidneys, liver, spleen etc. Arsenic, Ars iod, Calcarea fos, Carbo veg, Iodum, Kali bi, Lachesis, Lyco, Natrimer, Sulfur, Zincum met are the main drugs. In homeopathy, the choice of remedy is based on, consideration of the totality of an individual's symptoms and circumstances. There are many remedies available for one disease, and the best suited medicine is prescribed by homeopathic doctor, based on a person's constitution. So to get the best treatment, it is better to consult a doctor before taking medicine. Hope you like this video. For more videos on homeopathy, subscribe to the channel.